So today I'm going to show you a tip for your form when you do push-ups. And I usually prefer narrow push-ups, right? So you can do push-ups where the elbows go in next to the body, and you can do push-ups where the elbows go out to the side. Um, I prefer the ones that go narrow, and why that is, is because it's all about posture for me. So if, if you picture, this is your push-up position when you do your elbows wide, this is not the position that I want to be in when I walk around, right? So if I bring my elbows in uh, to my torso, then I'm strengthening my body in this beautiful posture. Um, and also, keeping your elbows in actually strengthens the back of the shoulder muscles, rotator cuff, if you do it right. But unfortunately, I'm seeing push-ups done wrong most of the time. Um, and it's just because it's a really, really, really hard exercise. So um, to do it right, it requires a tremendous amount of strength. Um, but we can get there. We can work towards it. We just have to be really, really picky. I'll show you on the knees because it's really hard. <laughs> so um, your wrists are directly under your shoulders. Your wrists are shoulder width apart. So make sure that your arms are parallel to one another. They're not angling out. They're not angling in, right? So just perfectly parallel. And then you send your elbows straight back and then back up, just straight back and back up. Now, when I, if I do that a little bit longer, and so far so good, right? Feels, I feel fairly strong keep doing that a little while longer. Um, feel your upper arm sliding across the side of the ribcage. This is the movement that I'm making. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear my t-shirt sort of rubbing a little bit against the side of my chest. Now, after a few repetitions, when my shoulders get tired, especially my right arm here, which is the, the weaker shoulder, starts to do this tiny little flick out to the side. Right, so I go down, which is a little easier because I'm going with gravity. And then to come up, it does this little push-up. I exaggerate right now, but it, sometimes it's barely noticeable. You might not even see it, but I feel it. Um, and obviously, you can have to slow down the movement to pay attention to that moment when you reverse direction. And that's mostly where it is. So you go down, and then when you reverse direction to come back up, it takes a lot more strength, right? And that's why that elbow wants to kind of kick out. And that's because the back of the shoulder rotator cuff here is getting weaker, it's getting a little exhausted, and you can't do the work anymore. So your whole body says, well, we gotta come back up, so we're changing strategy. But that's really a compensation pattern. And then the, that's the downward spiral. So from there, it's just gonna get worse. So at that point, I would recommend you just take a break, right? You just stop, and you can try and do, each day you do those push-ups, do as many repetitions as you can, keeping that elbow in, and as soon as it starts to go out, correct it, then you can maybe do two, three more, probably, really focusing on the better form, but then you're done, right? So don't just keep pumping out those push-ups, because you're just gonna hurt your shoulder, basically. All right, so that was that little tip for your rotator cuff, keeping your shoulder healthy in the push-up. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you'd like to see more cool information, head over to PlatesEncyclopedia.com. I'll see you next time.